is a fairly common phenomenon when watching a car race. We may find that almost all professional drivers brake with their left foot, especially in rally racings. And we are often amazed at the driver's spectacular footwork, silky but not flustered. For example, the F1 driver Daniel Ricciardo is very good at overtaking with his left foot braking. So, what are the advantages of left foot braking that make drivers pay a lot of cost to learn? First of all, braking with the left foot can adjust the speed normally while maintaining a relative balance of the four-wheel grip, making the vehicle more stable to drive. At any time, the more stable the driving, the higher the traction limit of the car, so we can pass at a higher speed. The stable driving mentioned here refers to the switching between the end of braking and the start of acceleration when the left foot braking is used to achieve complete overlap. If you want to make the front wheel of the car better adhere to the ground when cornering at a high speed, you can quickly and gently brake with your left foot while maintaining the accelerator. Or, if you just want to slow down a bit without reducing engine power, you can also use the left foot braking to operate. Second. Left foot braking can reduce the switching time between the accelerator and the brake, and make the speed connection smoother. This is because if you use the right foot braking, you have to switch your foot back and forth between the two pedals, so that when you enter a corner, you have to start braking with an earlier braking point. However, we don't want to lose a few tenths of a second because of this. The accelerator brake curve depicts the actions of drivers A and B at the end of the long straight. Driver A used the right foot brake, so he wasted time in the brake and accelerator switching. While driver B uses the left foot to brake, the accelerator and brake switch is done almost simultaneously. Having said that, how do we learn to brake with our left foot? First, we can find a large open space to drive the vehicle to practice braking with our left foot. Step on the brake at a constant speed and gradually release the brake as the vehicle slows down. This is a bit similar to a soft stop at a traffic light on the road. When you first start practicing, it is often to brake too hard or not dare to step on the pedal. However, after multiple simulations, if you can stop the vehicle without jerking or shaking, that means you have initially mastered braking with your left foot. Then use this sensitivity to imitate the brake control of the right foot on the track with your left foot, and try to achieve the brake control we mentioned before. If you are driving a manual transmission vehicle, you can use your left foot to brake when you don't need to downshift to steer. After practicing a few times, you will discover the braking force that works for you. Here's a hint. When practicing with a manual transmission vehicle, you can hang up to neutral gear before stopping and then brake with your left foot. It is because this approach can reduce the wear and tear of the gearbox. After all, the gearbox is still very laborious to repair. Second, you can try to practice braking with your left foot by driving a cart. Because the special structure of the cart separates the brakes and accelerator pedals on both sides, the driver must use his left foot to brake. However, in the process of driving a cart, beginners often step on the brakes excessively or too lightly because they lack the sensitivity of foot feeling. So, at the beginning of the practice, all you have to do is keep trying the brake force till the cart slows down smoothly. After repeated practices, the sensitivity of your left foot will gradually be improved. Braking with the left foot will be as simple as braking with the right foot. In summary, the key point of learning to brake with your left foot is that the brake pedal should be lifted or stepped on smoothly to avoid excessive or light pedaling. What's more, in the actual course of driving on the track, you should always pay attention to controlling the accelerator of your right foot to maintain the overall balance of the vehicle. That's all for today's episode. If you want to learn more about the technology of racing cars, let us know in the comments section. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.